I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Another midday muscle. I'm Tyler. You're strapped back in, baby. That's a weird thing to say. And we're gonna jump right into the week with a brand new training update from Andrew Jacked, who just continues to blow your mind with the level of progress that we see him making on a weekly basis. We heard recently from sources inside Andrew. <laughs> According to sources, he's about to shift gears and start to really get himself where he needs to be both mentally and physically for his appearance at the Texas Pro in a few weeks. He's coming in there as a huge pre-show favorite, despite some of the other big names that we know he's going to see on stage there. Right now he looks incredible, even with his weight eclipsing the 300 pound mark on the scale. So if they can really dial in the details and bring him into Texas completely chiseled, it will be interesting to see what the feedback is after the show, because a convincing win there could make people start talking about him as a potential top 5 Olympia finisher in the fall. Now if we push the looking glass over to Derek Lunsford, you gotta arrive to the same conclusion about where he's at mentally and physically at this point in prep. Because every week it feels like we get an update from his camp that makes you scratch your head and have one of those what the f moments. I'm sure that we'll eventually find out how much size he's added since last year. But just going by the eye test alone, it's abundantly clear that he's going to come in way more prepared to give Hottie and the rest of those guys fighting for a top three spot all they can handle from every direction. Samson's captured a lot of the headlines as far as new threats to the throne are concerned as of late, but let's not forget that we were talking about Derek in this same light last year before we even knew he was crossing over into the open. And now that he's had a full year to eat, sleep, and breathe life as an open bodybuilder, it's going to be wild to see what this end result looks like. As far as classic physique is concerned, we obviously aren't going to see the wild year-to-year -year improvements like we'll see from the guys in the open because of the weight caps. But anyone who's kept tabs on a trail of breadcrumbs that Chris Bumstead's been leaving lately already knows that he isn't exactly resting on his laurels here either. From the outside, Chris appears to be as locked in as he has at any point during his title run, which isn't always the easiest thing to do when you've been at the top for as long as he has. But on the flip side, he's also at the age now where we consider most guys to be just starting to enter their prime in the open division. So in that sense, He's still finding ways to add new elements to his game that isn't far outside of the norm either. He's a defending multi-time champion who's not dealing with a ton of major injuries and as a result he's having another really solid year of consistent training. So even if we do see big improvements across the board from some of the other up-and-comers in the division, the gap might still be wide enough that he'll be on a level all by himself for at least the next two to three years. Speaking of up-and-comers, after the stuff we've seen from Urs Kalazinski over the last few weeks, it's looking like he's going to be on pace to come in more complete this year in his own right. We're not sure what his numbers on the scale look like right now, but visually, he's looking like he's carrying a little bit more size than he was earlier in the year, which at the very least gives you some insight into what he's doing behind the scenes to add to what he can bring this year. And the other thing to keep in mind with Urs is the fact that he's still only 24 or 25, which is still incredibly young for bodybuilding. And as he continues to grow and progress over these next few years, he might end up in the best position out of anyone in the division to be the next one to carry the torch. I'll do it. Forget another midday muscle. Have a kick-ass rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow, maybe.